So imagine having a virtual personal trainer that is there for you 24 seven whenever you need it, anytime you have a question, anything you wanna ask. If you wanna rework out a new diet or if you wanna change up your routine and try something different. You shouldn't be spending hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on personal trainers unless you need the motivation to do it. What I'm gonna show you today is gonna to be quite controversial and I guarantee there's gonna be a lot of people out there who are not gonna be happy with the results but I'm gonna show you how you can use ChatGPT as a personal trainer, how you can use it in the fitness industry to basically do anything you need to reach your fitness goals. There's gonna be a number of different areas that this video is gonna cover and some of it is gonna be quite scary but really amazing. Just stick through the video, look at the results, your mind is gonna be absolutely blown by what this technology can do and you can see the possibilities that are gonna be available because of it. We are gonna be covering a few different categories here today. We're gonna to be covering food and recovery, dietary restrictions, food and nutrition research, exercise, routines, and recovery. Again, you're not gonna to wanna to miss these, and I do apologize for anyone I offend with this video because this is crazy, it, it's unbelievable, and you'll see what I mean. I'd just like to note, I'm not a personal trainer, and I can't guarantee these results are accurate, so I will pause every result on the screen and give you a chance to read the answers. So do stay tuned, stick around, read it all, and you'll see what I mean. All right, so we're gonna be running through here a bunch of different commands and inputs which you can use to create yourself a routine and understand fitness using ChatGPT. So we're gonna start out here by asking what some healthy snacks are between meals. Now, generally people do this because if you're somebody who doesn't really know the right kind of foods to eat, this is always gonna be an easy solution for you to figure that out. I'm gonna chuck all of these up on the screen so at the end of each question, I will show you the slide of what um, the response from ChatGPT was. Next thing we're gonna ask is we're gonna try to figure out what kind of foods are high in protein because we want to know what to eat and how to create a diet. So when you go to the gym, protein's one of the most important building blocks of create, building muscles. So we wanna figure out what kind of foods we can eat with that. Now ChatGPT gives us a huge amount of options here so now that we got our proteins and everything sorted out and some healthy snacks, we're gonna try ask ChatGPT for some good breakfast ideas because let's say you're hiring a personal trainer and you want to figure out, well, what can I eat for breakfast? Because I'm not really sure. Just ask ChatGPT and you're gonna figure it out. So again, this, this system's given me some great things. It's given us Greek yogurt, cheese, smoothies, wholemeal toast, oats, chopped nuts, just everything that you're gonna be wanting to eat. It's, it's brilliant. So now, uh, one of the things that people struggle with is actually how to lose weight. And a lot of people don't really know the answers or even have a clear idea of how to do it. So now we can just ask AI and AI is gonna generate us a response. So as we can see here, by asking how to lose weight, uh, ChatGPT has basically given us a guideline of how we can do it. So we can eat healthy, increase physical activity, you know, keep your tra tra uh, keep track of your calories, get enough sleep, try to avoid stress, avoid eating, drink lots of water. Pretty basic things that most people should know but likely don't if they're asking these kind of questions. This also works for anybody wanting to gain weight. So ChatGPT gives you a great indication of how to gain weight. It tells you to consume more calories, eat a diet that's high in protein, Increase strength, uh, incorporate strength training and exercise and weight such as weightlifting, resistance bands, get enough sleep, considering the guidance of a registered dietitian. Obviously, these this is where there's a slight flaw is that even ChatGPT will tell you to get a dietitian if you need it. So now we're gonna decide, well, how do I work out a personalized diet or how do I know how much I need to lose weight? If we're gonna feed into ChatGPT, and just a simple question asking, at six foot tall and 85 kilos, which is my weight, how can I, or how many calories do I need to gain weight? Now, this is gonna pretty much give me a quick overview about BMI and other things, what it believes is the important information for me to know. And then it's gonna base everything that I've given it off a BMI calculator or a calorie calculator. And this example it is using the Harris Benedict equation um, and it should give me the result and it tells me for the recommended dose it tells me that the recommended calories per day is 180 calories 
Uh, it also tells me that I probably should be consuming between 250 to 500 calories extra per day to add additional muscle. So because the equation told me that I need to put my age, I've also asked it to recalculate. Uh, one of the great things about ChatGPT and how it works is it works on a conversational system, which means that it's able to give you real-time feedback and you're allowed to alter your queries and use it to basically change the output and change how the AI is going to pretty much work out your calories. As you can see here, it gave me a full breakdown of the equation. It didn't really change it that much, but I can assume at my age that it wasn't going to be much difference from the original equation anyway. So the next thing we're going to ask is we're actually going to break it down and say what are the best macros to gain muscle. Now, for people who don't know what macros are, generally they're just all your micronutrients. So they're things like your proteins, your fats, your carbs, everything like that. And now if you're not sure of that, you could simply just ask ChatGPT, what do I need to know about calories and everything? And it will be able to give you an explanation of that. If you want to know more, you can always ask more. In the industry, a lot of people do have access to this knowledge, but they don't have it so readily available that they can give you an answer almost 24 seven. Sometimes they have to research and know a bit more about your body type and everything. You know, I'm not a personal trainer, so I can't say for sure that these are accurate results, but they look pretty good to me. Hey, I really hope that you guys are liking the content so far and you are finding some value in this. If you do want to support this channel in any way, it would mean the world to me if you guys could subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, just chuck them down below. I'll read all the comments. I'll reply to you if you reply to this video. And let me know what your thoughts on AI are. Let me know what your thoughts on ChatGPT are. Let me know if this is going to help you reach your fitness goals for 2023 or whatever year we're in now. So the next thing that you've done, you've worked out what the healthy foods are, you've worked out what your macros are, you've worked out how many calories you need. So now we're going to go a step further and we're actually going to ask ChatGPT to write us a diet based on the macros we have, and we want it to include all of the nutritional values that our body needs. And for, for this example as well, we are going to take into account that somebody has a, a dietary requirement which they would like to be met. So for this example, we're going to use beef, pork, and mushrooms and Brussels sprouts because we don't want them as part of the diet. Now we're going to submit this to ChatGPT. They're going to figure out a diet that's going to be based on our carbs, proteins, fats, everything. And it's gonna to come to me with a one week plan that's gonna have all of my foods sorted out for the week. You can also go back and forth with ChatGPT and tell them to alter certain days or change it or produce completely new results. So you'll see a breakdown of all the diets here and basically what it's um, told me to eat for the week. Great, so we've got our nutrition we've got our macros we know what to eat and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try try and create a workout routine now what we're going to ask chat gpt here is can you make a can you make me uh, at home workout routine and we're going to try base this off what people have um, or may have in their house some people may just have a couple dumbbells some people may not have access to the gym where you can account for this in any situation with chat gpt so I'm going to tell it, can you please write, or can you write me a four day workout routine that can be done with only body weight and dumbbells. So let's say we have some dumbbells at home. So ChatGPT is going to go away, find the exercises that it knows that can be done with only body weight or dumbbells. And it's going to come back with a whole list, a four day routine with the sets, the reps and everything you need. Again, I'm going to put these results on the screen at the end so pause the video if you want to have a look at those and yeah let me know what you think down in the comments is this a good routine for somebody at home if not you know tell me how you do it better or tell me how you could ask ChatGPT to make it better all of these can be replaced so you might as well do it so the next thing we're actually going to ask ChatGPT is we're going to talk, think about the post-workout cycle and we want to know what kind of supplements or vitamins should we be taking after a workout. So generally a PT will give you an example of what you need and try to explain these. We've just asked ChatGPT and they've come back and told us that we need to consume protein, creatine, beta alanine, BCAAs, glutamines, multivitamins and it's given us detailed explanations on what they can do for you to help you build 
or lose build muscle or lose fat last but not least I think that anybody in this situation who's trying to gain weight or do anything they want to know if there's anything else they should know we're gonna ask chat GPT again is there anything we should know about our diet and exercise plan that they've set for us so let's come back with a few additional points just simple things like staying hydrated getting enough sleep monitoring your progress listening to your body and you know pay attention to how you're feeling be consistent and i mean consistency is key in any workout you don't need to an ai to tell you that uh, don't compare yourself to others now this is quite an important thing not just in exercise but in life don't compare yourself to others just keep going uh, be patient and be flexible and just enjoy the process if you're not enjoying it what's the point now just to end this quickly, I know I said we we're going to end it before, but I thought it may be a good idea to ask ChatGPT about what other questions can you guys ask ChatGPT? Because there's so many possibilities and there's more than I can even put, fit into the single video. So I'm going to give you all these and get 20 examples out of it that you guys can ask ChatGPT yourself. Again, I'm not going to spend the time reading all of these out, but I will put them on the screen just so you can have a quick read on the questions and see if they're any use to you if they are give the video a thumbs up and that'll be good enough for me hey so that does it for the chat gpt um, fitness video i am going to be publishing a full series on all these different topics different industries so don't worry fitness industry this isn't just for you it's coming for everyone again it means the world to me that you guys would take the time to watch this video if you did find any value in it whatsoever, it would mean the world to me if you guys would subscribe to the channel or if you like, just hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you guys, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Peace.